Hello guys, we're back with another review. Today we do have the Team of Season Mbappe. So, Robbie and I both used uh, Mbappe as our most expensive player review so far. Let us know if there are any other expensive players you'd like us to try out in the comments, and it's over to Sam to get us into the questions. So, obviously, Mbappe's been one of the like most meta players all game. Um, we've been really looking forward to this card. What's the thoughts then, boys? You go first, Jack. So... I've used Mbappe for a long, long time. I've had his, uh, his 90, his first uniform red for a long time as well. I love Mbappe. I love him as a player. Um, I love everything that he's about. His card in FIFA is great. It's always very agile, very quick. Uh, he's got a good shot. But this team of the season, for some reason, I do love him. You know, Don't get me wrong. He's a great card. Amazing shooting and everything. But there's just something missing from him. Uh, I don't know how you feel about it, Rob, because you also used him. How do you feel? Well, the only Mbappe that I used before this one was the the normal 89 rated version a long time ago so compa compared to that one is absolutely unbelievable obviously I've only used him on your account and you paid for him so I've got no feeling to how much you, uh, how much you paid yeah. for him sort of thing so I'm just using the card with no drawbacks of spending 3 million on it so I feel like I'm going to have a sort of like looking through rose tinted glasses because I'm just using a player rather than actually paying for him and using him yeah, so that's one of my main problems with him is that I did spend 3 mil on him. So he's the most expensive player I've used all year. And I don't know if it's unrealistic to expect something from a player just to really elevate your game when you're spending that much. I think it is fair to expect something really special from him. Because when I spent, um, I think it was like 2.5 at the time on mid Cruyff, he felt like he was worth 2.5 million every penny of it, if not more. Whereas Mbappe, for some reason, doesn't quite have that... That feeling about him, I don't know if it is the five star weak foot that he's missing, um, but he is obviously his face stats are amazing, his in games are amazing. There's no drawbacks really to the card at all. Yeah, I agree. So then, stats wise, I mean, it's debatable, but he's up there in top three strikers of the game. Is he best striker worth the hype or? Like you've, you've sort of mentioned that you're maybe a bit disappointed. Are you saying that he's not that level? Mm. I def I don't think he's top three. I think Cruyff will be better. I think mid Cruyff especially. Maybe you know, obviously I don't use the prime or anything, but Cruyff would be better. Um, I'd say CR seven would probably be better as well. I use mid you say, but I didn't love him, but I think that he'd be better. I think Yedder would be better. I think. One of the things that Mbappe doesn't have going for him is that he's not really got any like custom animations or five star weak foot. With Cruyff, you've got the five star weak foot. With Ronaldo, you've just got that insane strength. Um, he's a good striker, don't get me wrong. Whatever I say, he's an amazing striker. It's just when you cost that much, you are going to be very critical of the card. Yeah, definitely. I think, for me, the only bad thing is the fact that I feel like Kurt Cobain, I'm never going to live up to being on stage and everyone listens to my music ever again because I'm never going to use it because I can't afford it. <laughs> that is true. I have I'll never be able to reach that high. To get him. <laughs> <laughs> so, key question then. Yes. Would you say he's worth the £3 million unit paid or would you rather have his foot birthday? So, I haven't used his foot birthday, you know, but... The stats are not that different, uh, you know, in regard to the important stats, like his finishing position and all that, and his dribbling stats. I think he's not worth three mil. I'll say that now. I think like two mil would be. I'd feel really good spending two mil on him because he, he would a hundred percent be worth two mil. It's just that three mil is a bit too much. I think if you're an absolute baller and you've got a load of cash. Playing him on the wing, he would be the best winger in the game. No comparison. Nobody would be anywhere near as good as him. Um, but yes, I, I think I'd prefer the foot birthday. I think. But, I, you know, I couldn't I, I, for sure. In my opinion, I don't think the foot birthday is worth an extra mil that you'd pay for him. Mm, and that's I, true, to be fair. Cause when I use this Mbappe, his weak foot didn't feel bad at all. I wouldn't spend an extra mil for someone with worse, worse stats, one star weak foot. Mm. That's just my opinion. I think it's interesting, like, when I used um, Mbappe, I've used his um, the gold standard gold card and one of the 
like the second in form, I think it was. I was the same as you, Jack. I just preferred him out wide. I don't know if it's just something about that card this year that it just suits the wing, maybe. I think it's just that when I've used wingers, it's it's rare that they, they pop up with a lot of goals. But when I use him, he just he cuts inside. He's so he's just deadly. Any time he's on the ball, he's mate. He's doing something from the wing. Whereas I think when he's at striker, sometimes he can struggle to do that. He doesn't always have that moment of magic in him that I think some of the other strikers on the game do. But obviously, to play him out on the wing would be an absolute luxury purchase, and I doubt that many people have got that type of money. I mean, we're not all ballers now. <laughs> ah, even I couldn't afford to put him on the wing. <laughs> <laughs> so, going into the chem style we've picked out, is Marksman. It boosts up the few stats that aren't 99 up to 99, and to be honest, any chem style is going to be pretty good on him. It's not really going to make much of a difference. For his best position, with like we said, striker out on the wing if you're absolute baller. Yeah. And then the best links to yeah. Neymar. Well, Jack Christian to Jets. We did, yeah. try, when I used him, I tried to make Cam as well to start games. Because mm. uh, that's just how Jack had his setup because of tactics. And I found myself pretty early on switching to striker just because I don't think, I think he got lost a bit at Cam. I just much preferred to play him striker. Yeah, I was I was trying out some some things. It, the the weekend league didn't go well. I was uh, I was trying some weird weird things off the edge. Didn't, they, yeah, they didn't work at all. And uh, we've also picked out Awa. And Awa is one of the good cards of the uh, the team of the season, but he's a centre mid. Um, so I think if you're playing a four four two, him behind Mbappe would be really good. Um, we've also picked out Lala. Obviously, one of the best right backs in the game. And then for birthday, Di Maria. So it's a card that we all, uh, well, me and Robbie really like. Sam's got a bit of an agenda against whoa, him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this always comes up. I'm actually fine with Di Maria. It's that gold Neymar. I like the Di Maria. The gold Neymar still do a job. Yeah, 100%. The best still in my team. Yeah. And then to round things up, we've given him an overall rating of 9.5. So I think it's fair just because he is missing that. The five star weak foot. If you had the five star weak foot, I think he'd be a ten in my eyes. I just can't help but feel in those clutch games when you need that left footed shot to smash into the back of the net. Yeah, he's going to bottle it, and you're going to be cursing yourself right. for spending this much With money on a player. Players that don't have the five star weak foot, there's always a some doubt creeps into your mind when you're in front of goal. I think, and that, whether yeah. that affects it or not. Yeah, I think that's a big thing that you just not. In the back of your mind, like you say, you know that he's not got a five-star weak foot. Yeah. Whereas I think you, when you've got a five-star weak foot, you've got the luxury of not having to worry about what yeah. side you're facing or anything, which I think it can go underrated because it's not specifically a tangible stat, but it's something that helps your game a lot because you're not having to think about, oh, I have to get my hand to his left foot and to his right foot. And linking to that, value for coins is still a seven. Don't get it wrong, he's still an absolutely disgusting card. You know, we're trying to be critical of him and pick out some of the, the faults that are really, you know, that are kind of glaring to us. And Meta Viable, we've said yes, because of, obviously, yeah. you know, <laughs> it's, not a, uh, it's not a difficult question. And I think that's pretty much it. Have you got any other thoughts you want to put in, Rob? Uh, no, I'd say pretty much covered it. If you can afford him, then I'd say it's definitely worth trying out. It's very fun to use. Other than that, if you've got a rich friend that you want to use it on, just <laughs> go ahead and do that. <laughs> <laughs> So I hope you've enjoyed this video guys, let us know in the comments if there's anyone else you'd like us to try, we've got a decent amount of budget to try out any player that you want us to do, so drop a comment, leave a like, and hit the notification bell, and we'll see you later. See you later guys.